Well, you're still here. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm still waiting for an answer to the question I asked in my last video about why the moon appears to be upside down from what we see when viewed from the southern hemisphere. But still, nothing. Go nuts on my nuts. Hi, welcome to another episode of Playing a Blinder with me, the Creaky Blinder. Now, it was never my intention to just upload videos where I'm making fun of Flat Earthers. But the last few videos, with the exception of <coughs> the last but one, which we won't talk about, have been Flat Earth videos. But it's not my fault. They just keep appearing in my suggested videos. Tidy! Oh, great. He wears sunglasses indoors in winter at night time. I hate him already. Welcome to the four-dimensional Flat Earth channel. Well, how very polite. And it's refreshing to come across a new Flat Earther. Because you can only make fun of Nathan Thompson so many times. Can't believe this could be the end. Oh, Nathan. Don't worry. I'm going to be making plenty more videos about you. You moron. <laughs> On this channel, we'll be making videos exploring the world that we live in. I'm confused. I thought you said you were a flat earther. There's many other channels that have done a really great job of showing how the world appears to be flat. Have they? I must have missed those. Such as uh, Jaronism, the Globebusters. <laughs> Sorry, you wouldn't mind repeating that, would you? I could have sworn blind that you just said that Jaronism and the Globebusters have proven that the earth is flat such as uh, jaronism i mean i you know it's his um there's we don't see you enrique lift up your lift up your light uh, way above your head interesting the globe busters a 15 degree per hour drift bob and jaronism have certainly proved something but it isn't that the earth is flat you know there's been so much done in that regard that i kind of feel like it's almost got to the point where we don't even really need to you know, flog that dead horse anymore. I can't believe this, we're only two minutes into this video and this is the second time I'm agreeing with a flat earther. Who'd have thunk it? But I totally agree. It's pointless flogging the flat her... Flat hearth? Let's try that again, shall we? It's pointless flogging the flat earth dead horse anymore. Because we don't need to. Because flat earthers do such a great job of proving that the earth is a globe that we don't really need to bother. Which is why I don't. And I just choose to make fun of flat earth morons. See, we, it's been shown to be much, you know, flatter than we've been told. But by who? And how? Because Jaronism and Bob did an excellent job of demonstrating that the earth is a globe. So I'd love to know who these people are that you were putting all your faith in. There was the recent um, videos. Uh, oh, I forget his name now. I'll have to put it in the link in the description. Um, I think it was TJ. I got that wrong. Well, thanks for that. Don't promise to put a link in the description and then not do it. <laughs> and he's talking about TJ Jones. Have any of you come across TJ Jones in my comment section? If you have, you'll know why that's so funny. And if you're going to go and look for him in the comment section of this video, you may just as well hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications while you're down there. Unless, of course, you're already subscribed. In which case, you can miss out that bit. Someone who... Uh basically took an infrared lens into an aeroplane and uh, you can see for like 600 miles or something. Now the how far you can see argument is a poor one at best because even ophthalmologists take the curve of the earth into account when calculating how far somebody can see. Now bear with me while I explain. I've taken this information off healthline.com so Seeing distances, these are the three main factors. Based on the curve of the Earth, standing on a flat surface with your eyes about five feet off the ground, the farthest edge that you can see is about three miles away. Using the term edge probably is an ideal health line. But anyway. Detecting a candle flame. Researchers believe that without obstructions, a person with healthy but average vision could see a candle flame from as far away as 1.6 miles. Without the Earth's curvature from maybe in a plane, you might be able to identify objects from dozens, even hundreds of miles away. And of course, that's before you factor in things like the size of the object you're looking at. Nobody struggles to see the moon, unless of course they close their eyes, and the moon is almost a quarter of a million miles away. Okay, so that's been done to death. Uh, there's been the laser experiments, um, etc, etc. <laughs> What's the matter, Shades Boy? Can't think of anything else to say. 
because as far as I can tell, etc, etc, basically translates in flat art to Somebody help me, I can't think of anything else to say. So in this channel, I want to explore my four dimensional flat earth model, which seems to have had uh, not enough discussion, I think, worldwide. I can explain that to you. That'll be because your videos on average get less than 100 views, which is a bit strange if you ask me, seeing as you've got nearly 2,000 subscribers. But that'll be why it doesn't get the attention it deserves worldwide. That it, uh, that it, as, as it deserves. Can I just give you a piece of friendly advice? One YouTuber to another. Don't say that your videos don't get as many views as they deserve. I never say it. I think my videos should get a lot more views. But you know why I've never said that sentence? Because I don't want to sound like an entitled prep. Oh crap, he just made me say I think my videos don't get enough views, didn't he? Damn these cunning flat earthers. I believe that, you know, if there is a creator of this universe, as I believe there is, an intelligent creator, and that intelligent creator had the power to create our entire reality, create everything. I mean, you have to really meditate on that. Huh, why am I not surprised? An all-knowing creator. And can these flat earthers please stop mentioning meditation? You can't spoil that for me as well, please. You know, if this creator could do that, then of course they could make it an infinitely looping flat plane. Okay, I will humor you. Let's say, for example, there is a god, an all-knowing, all-powerful creator that created the world we live in, evolution. Why would he only make the earth flat and make the rest of them spherical? Doesn't sound really smart to me. That wouldn't be a problem for that kind of a, a being, a creator, right? Well, if there was such a being, then no, it would be no problem at all, because magic and stuff. So I don't know why everyone finds it such a difficult concept. It's actually very simple. Again, I can clear that up for you as well. I feel like Mr. Helpy Helpington today. The reason find it such a difficult concept <laughs> to grasp is because the average person isn't really, really, really stupid. And yes, it is simple. Hang on, let me rephrase that. The people that believe the Earth is flat are simple. You know? Simple. But the concept of flat Earth is just as ridiculous now as it's ever been. And while we're on the subject of ridiculousness... Ness? My fellow debunker... Well, I'm not a debunker. My fellow flat Earth debunking slash making fun of flat earth as YouTube creators. You'll know what I mean. We've been challenged by one of our own, but I think it's a very good challenge. And I have just been speaking to said person on my Discord server, and I told him I would include it in today's video, which is what this is. So bear with me momentarily while I glance away from the camera to read said comment, because I think it's a really good one. Touchpad who is a long-time subscriber of mine and many of our other channels. Okay, I've been following Flat Earth Debunkers for quite a while now, and just to prove that Flat Earth is truly dead, <laughs> you may be onto something, yeah? I have a challenge for all the Flat Earth Debunkers. That's, well, it's not really me, I just make fun of them, but that's you, Simon Dan. You fight the Flat Earth, Team Skeptic, Plan to Walk, Conspiracy Cats. And loads of others, which I'm sure I'm missing out, and for which I apologise most profusely. But this is the challenge. Can you take a Flat Earth video that is at most one month old, which claims to have new proofs of Flat Earth, and debunk it by only using content from your own videos? Which I think is a bloody good challenge. And do you want to know what my answer was? I will tell you immediately, if not sooner. This was my answer. I said to Touchpad, no, I cannot. And you want to know why I cannot? Because there are not now, nor have there ever been, any valid flat earth arguments. And before anyone gets all butthurt and jumps to the defense of my friends, i.e. 
other flat earth or de- you know what I mean? No. Just no. The whole idea of this is to further illustrate, as suggested by Touchpad, just how ridiculous the whole idea of flat earth is. Full stop. Period. For my American friends. Compare it to a two-dimensional model. People living on a flat two-dimensional model. You get a strip of paper, you twist it around in a loop, you've got something called a Mebius strip or Merbius strip. Um, you know, to our con- with our consciousness that we have, we can perceive that that is a three-dimensional structure. It, I can turn it around and I can... If someone's standing on one side of the paper, I can see that there's an underneath to that paper. But if someone's living on, on that surface of that paper and they keep walking, they'll just go round and round and round and round and round forever. And they'll never see that there's another side. They'll just think that there's one side that seems to go on forever. Sorry, everyone, you're just going to have to fill the blanks in on that one yourself because I've watched that clip five times now and I cannot make any sense of anything he's saying apart from I can't help thinking that maybe he's quite a big fan of the Matrix movie. Now you chunk that up into 3D and 4D and you have a perfect description of the world that we live in. So you think the Earth is like the ring that goes around a barrel and there are people living on one side and living on the other side? To quote Simon Dan, (laughs) oh dear. You know, just look at Glitch in the Matrix. Bingo! There's lots and lots and lots of circumstantial, um, you know, first, uh, what do you call it, eyewitness reports of things that seem to, can only be explained by there being other dimensions of space. Wrong use of the word circumstantial, but we won't bring that up, will we? Eyewitness reports aren't as reliable as you think they might be, because generally what happens is when somebody is describing the incident that they witnessed, they're not actually describing what they witnessed. They're describing the last time they remembered it, if that makes sense. But it's true. Honest. But that being said, does it really matter anyway? This guy thinks the earth is flat. I don't. But then again, I'm not a complete moron, am I? What's this video next? You're at a loose end. We're in a lockdown. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.